Hey guys, it's TechTimOS here. Today I'm going to be doing a game review on the 2012 Retina MacBook Pro. The game I'll be analysing and reviewing is The Walking Dead. After playing through The Walking Dead on the Retina MacBook Pro, it doesn't matter what quality you set it at, it performs very well. So we're going to look at how the resolution performs. So we're going to test it on the standard light resolution which most gamers play at, which is 1920 by 1080. And then we'll also compare it to the native resolution of the Retina MacBook Pro which is 2880 by 1800. If you're also wondering why you can't see my hands in the video controlling the keyboard and the mouse, I'm actually using an Xbox 360 wireless controller. When playing video games, I don't actually use a 360 controller normally. Normally, I'll just use the keyboard and mouse. However, there are a few games, such as The Walking Dead and also um, DC Universe, which I've played a bit of, um, where it actually feels better to use a 360 controller, in my opinion. I mean, it might be different for other people, but I just feel like I can actually sit back and not be right at the screen playing the game like you normally would do when you're playing intense games on PC. But obviously, The Walking Dead isn't really an intense game. It's kind of a story option choosing game. You have to press certain buttons and not move around as much. But yeah, I don't want to bore you guys now, so let's just actually get into the actual video. Let's start the game and see how the Reta MacBook Pro performs. To test the Reta MacBook Pro, I'm showing you guys the walkthrough of the first episode or most of the first episode of The Walking Dead game. I'm not going to cut up gameplay, guys, for the game, because you might actually want to see what the first episode's like, the mission. I mean, if you want, I could do a series on showing the walkthrough of the whole video game uh, of The Walking Dead, because I actually, I actually haven't played the game yet. I've got a gaming PC, which, you know, is pretty maxed out, so I could play that game on there so I get the best quality when I record and stuff. But yeah, guys, if that's something you want to see on the channel, if I can get enough comments saying people want me to do it, then that's something I can consider doing in the future on the channel. First off, guys, you can see that I'm not really dropping below 90 frames. It's staying well above 90 frames, to be honest. Um, there's one point where I think it drops to 89 or a bit lower. You know, at least you know you're going to get a really good solid frame rate when playing um, The Walking Dead on this MacBook Pro. Now this is a really good solid performance when playing at the resolution of 1920 by 1080p. I followed your case a little bit. You being a making boy and all. As you can see here guys, from the change in the camera yep. angle and shot, you can see that the frame rate drops to about 70 to 80 frames. And then when the camera angle changes back again, it jumps up to 90 frames. Now this may be because there's more textures to render within the different shots. So therefore, if there's more textures in one shot, it's going to have a lower frame rate than there is in the other shot. seem important to you? All of it. But that box never shuts up. Sit in this seat and pay too much attention and you'll drive yourself crazy. I got a nephew up at UGA. You teach there long? Going on a six year. You meet your wife in Athens? You want to know how I see it? They got much choice? Sure don't. Regardless, could be you just married the wrong woman. <laughs> You'll have to learn to stop worrying about things you can't control. man once. He, he was the worst one. He wouldn't stop going on about how he didn't do it. He was an older fella. Big soft eyes behind a pair of smart folk glasses. And he just wailing back there. Said it wasn't him. Crying and snotting all over right where you're sitting. Are available for then before long he starts kicking the back of the seat like, like a fussy baby on an airplane. And I'm telling him he's got to stop. That's government property. And I'll be forced to zap him otherwise. So he stops, and having exhausted all his options, he starts crying out for his mama. Mama, 
It's all a big mistake. It wasn't me. Maybe he was innocent. Innocent? They caught the fucker red-handed, stabbing his wife, cutting her up as the boys came through the door. He sits in my car screaming bloody murder that it wasn't him. I think he actually believed it himself. It goes to show, people up and go mad when they believe their life is over. I got another good one for you. This one's a little bit less depressing and a bit more hilarious if I do say so. Even in the car question, you think it'd be a lot harder for the GPU to handle, but it still has a good solid frame rate. The frame rate's staying 90 and above for this part as well, so that's a very positive thing when looking at this review. Officer Shotgun is up there. Officer? From this high angle shot looking at the police officer, the frame rate drops to about 45 frames. And then when you reach for the keys from the officer, it actually drops to about 30. I mean, when you, obviously you play 30 frames on like an Xbox or a PS3, so you know, it should be alright anyway. But it's always nice to have the full 60.
For this next part of the scene, I'm going to bump up the resolution to 2880 by 1800. So let's see how much the frame rate changes from the massive increase in resolution. You know, it's still playable, 60 frames, that's perfectly fine, you know. It's just when it comes to such more intensive tasks within the game, it might drop a lot lower. Where are 
are your parents? They took a trip and left me with Sandra. They're in Savannah, I think. Where the boats are? Are you safe? I'm outside in my treehouse. They can't get in. That's smart. See? Can you see me? I can see you through the window. There are some parts in the game uh, when on the resolution of 2880 by 200 where it does drop to about 16 frames. You know, you're not really... You're not going to notice that it. it's not going to feel laggy. It's just, I think it's just how it's more of really like a cutscene. You know, it's it's not actually you controlling that part. That's just the video bit. Overall, I think The Walking Dead on the MacBook Pro is a very good game to play. You know, you're getting good solid frame rates. There's points in time where it may drop a little, but that doesn't matter too much because The Walking Dead is not an intensive game to play. But yeah, guys, if you did enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up. Um, I've also got another video, which I recently did a review on, is the Fallout New Vegas um, review for my rest of the MacBook Pro, showing how that performs as well. But yeah, remember guys, if you do have any questions, you know, leave a comment down below. I will try and answer it in time. Sorry if you do, like, kind of find the answer before it, but, you know, I will always reply. But yeah, guys, I've got a question for you. What is your most favourite zombie game ever? 
you know, it doesn't matter if it's on PC, Xbox or PS3, or what if it's on Nintendo Wii, you know, what is your favourite uh, zombie game? Um, leave a comment down below, and yeah, cheers guys for watching.